What is up? I don't see us on the screen, but welcome to the Deviant Gentleman Podcast. My name is Shane Vitko, alongside my co-host, Mr. Tommy Vexed. What's up, everybody? It's your favorite Uncle Tommy. <laughs> it is hot as shit in here, and uh, we have a very special guest, um, known for her soap line, uh, Kama RX. <laughs> I like that, known for my soap line. Yeah. Um, hi, hi. Good Howdy, to see you. How are you? I'm welcome. fabulous. How are you? Pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, I like your shirt. Thank you. Yeah. Is that that's the the anarchist yeah. soap that company? That is my the cause of my fame. Okay, uh, right there. the anarchist the soap. <laughs> okay, that's good. That is a, that was good um, choice in shirt to wear today. Thank you. I did that on purpose. Yeah, so great so, job. So so soap is new is a new <laughs> entrepreneurial endeavor in your life. It is. That's not actually uh, why people know who I am. Uh, we'll get into that, but we, <laughs> you know, on this show, we like to ask the not obvious questions. <laughs> right, so, right, right. Yeah, no, so, f- five months. Yeah, I've five months. Good, okay. So. so it's and it's. I I got some of the numbers before we went on air, and I'm not going to mm. say them because I don't want to make our viewers very upset. The <laughs> <laughs> lack of earning capacity, yeah. but I feel a little bad too. Uh, so soap is in. Soap is in. All right. Pandemics are in, and soap is in. But okay. so, at what point did you? get bored or what what drove like you know what i want to fucking make soap okay mania is the short answer um mm. it's like in that part in fight club where when you know when you find out what everything was happening with the dude's uh, psyche and uh it was he couldn't sleep so he makes soap or whatever yeah, there you go. better yeah <laughs> um so basically the same that thing nope. that's one <laughs> we're counting them down that didn't turn me on at all um so yeah, part of it was I was bored. Um, just so also there were all those uh, memes and stuff going around. Wait, about, but this was pre-pandemic, right? right? Two weeks okay. before, yeah. Um, so there were all these memes going around about like the girl that looks like a troll, and she's like, "I spend three thousand dollars a month on products, and my boyfriend uses the same bar of soap for his balls and his face, and he has perfect skin or whatever." <laughs> yeah, so I've kind of figured maybe there's something to that. Hmm. Um, and so, you know, I was like, maybe it's the amount of products that women use that fuck up our skin. Turns right. out that's 100% correct. There's huh. a reason men's skin is so nice, usually because they don't spend $3,000 on products. Yeah. Now, if you wanted to spend $3,000 on Anarchist Soap Company products, that's that, would, fucking go. <laughs> so that would be acceptable. Did you have to do, like, research on, like, what is required, how much of this, how much of that? Did you yeah, break absolutely. out in rashes? Did you go, hey, fucking friend, try this out, hope you don't <laughs> die? Um, I my, all my labels say tested on humans, not animals. I am the human. I've uh, all tested right. all my products. Tested on pedophiles, not yeah. <laughs> animals. Um, <laughs> tested on porn stars. Um, yeah, no. Um, it it wasn't that hard to figure out. There's a lot of information about soap. I only make goat milk soap. I've never actually made a single batch of normal soap made with water. Um, I've gotten quite a few lye burns. They're real. Um, how like long does the, how long does the lie have to be on the skin to get the chemical burn? Just touch Pretty it. Pretty quick. Wow. Okay. Um, and mace, mostly hands or like your arms and shit. It's too? usually I wear gloves, so it's usually like up in here. And just is it powder? I don't, yeah. Okay, so it splashes up like while you. Yeah. Or while you're whipping I, that work. Yeah, but I mean the so the soap te- it's technically not soap for 24 hours. So even when everything's mixed together, that like soap liquid, if mm. even if I'm like pouring and a little drop gets on my face, that's mm. a lie burn. And well, so then you get to pour it into a cast and let it sit. Yeah, I'm assuming. Yeah. All right. So every and everything's made by you by Absolutely. hand. Absolutely, everything is made by me. I do all my own shipping, my own packaging. I, my whole life is soap. That at this is. Point. Have you had anyone ask you to make crazy. some and not wash your hands first? <laughs> <laughs> um, people have asked me for all types of strange things. I bet. Things. I, I bet. bet if you made, because we, <laughs> we were just talking about how the, the weird feet thing. Mm-hmm. If you make like casts of your feet yeah. and sold foot soap, As soap, and it was actually <laughs> your foot, and yeah. people were like, oh my God. I mean, so I get more requests foot. for uh, different body parts than the feet. Ah, uh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The the fingers. But I feel that. like, right. yeah, how are you going to get the, ca- yeah, like, I don't know. Unless it's actually you get like totally a, doable. Yeah, like, yeah. A, like a cast mold yeah, I'm not of your junk. No, yeah. But yeah, you can't. I actually okay. have my own toys, so I could just mold the soap over the toys. Wait a second. So you're saying oh, that like we can make official <laughs> Deviant Gentleman dick soap? Yeah. You totally could. Bro, this is the next frontier for us. Yeah. What's her name? Gwyneth Paltrow did the uh, Smells Like My Pussy Candles or whatever. Sick. She made a fucking fortune selling really? candles that smell like her pussy. They don't. They don't even. really smell no, like her pussy. No, because yeah. e- on the website, it's Wait, just the Gwyneth name Paltrow? of the candle. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. what was weird is it smelled like a dumpster fire, so that was funny. I was stayed in the We stayed in the same hotel once, and I saw her in the lobby at the, the Ritz-Carlton in Madrid, and she just gave me the dirtiest look. Oh, yeah. And I was just like, what the fuck are you looking at? And she looked 
And you look like, <laughs> and then I didn't like realize trouble. who it That's was because, like I was telling you earlier, I don't realize who people are, yeah. and then I'm just like, the f- like you know, I'm an I asshole. I treat everybody the same regardless. Yeah. So. I'm like, I shouldn't, you know. First of all, you shouldn't let someone who looks like me into the Ritz Carlton <laughs> to begin with, whatever country it is. I think anyway. I've st- I think I've stopped to take a piss at a Ritz Carlton once, but yeah, they're overrated. That's about it. That was what it um, well, okay. fuck, dude. Let's That's see. We got uh, so much madness, right? I feel like, has it been a week? Has it been two weeks? But what the fuck? Just more and more shit keeps coming up. So There's a lot going on. Yeah. And it's very exciting. It's very exciting. Pick a spot. Where do you want to start on there? Um, Bill Clinton is a pedo. <laughs> Hashtag Bill Clinton like is a pedo room. is yeah. trending yeah. on Twitter. <laughs> Oh, Fine. my God. Did you read all 2,024 pages? No, I did not. Okay. I have a team of people who reading are it. reading different sections huh. for me. That's all. And, well, not for me personally, but I'm in a study group. For of, the highlights? Yeah. It's the same people who, like, do the wiki drops, wiki leaks, yeah. and, I'm, and then I'm like, all right, cool. I just don't understand. How is this not enough information for him to have been arrested? I don't understand how come nobody on any of the major news networks is talking we'll about this. the biggest the testimony. Thing that ha- yeah. yeah, it's this is the biggest thing. Like a, like and just for for just for devil's advocate, imagine if Trump right? was named oh, but funny and taking thing, two underage girls to the pedophile wait, island. Wait, wait, wait. Funny that you He'd mentioned that. Right Trump now. was right? ma- mentioned zero uh, percent. Actually, he was mentioned well, he was exonerated. only to say that he was, he was uh, that he a had, great guy, basically. Yeah. Or that he was I, never there. <laughs> well, yeah, I read that, too. I read the yeah. Exhibit D. There was, I, I'm, I did, don't remember what page. I did full uh, sore winner on that one. Did you? Yeah, I went, ha, 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 ha. Ha 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 um, ha! Are you a, yeah, so you're a, you a are Trump supporter? A Trump supporter. I am voting for Trump. Okay. I don't like the term Trump supporter. Okay. Um, I don't like anything that's all inclusive. Okay. Um, I did that whatever that test is to see your political whatever the fuck I, I side with dot com or whatever. And oh, okay. it, it, majority Why you look was, at me like I know what the fuck. I that don't is. know. <laughs> I looked at you because you were like over there with the, uh, that grin. Sick, sick. Um, <laughs> no, but you know what? I don't have. I'm not all one thing ever. I have. Yeah. I think. I th- think freely, and I have different opinions on all types of different issues. That test confirmed that. As as um, people should. Right. If you agree yeah. with every single aspect of a political party, you're either like, you really Homicidal. believe all those things, or you're ba- brainwashed. I don't care what side you're on. Yeah, you yeah. should be able to have yeah. your own thoughts about any given subject. So, so do you identify as a moderate or a libertarian, or do you? Ju- are you just like, I'm a person, and I like this, and I don't like this, and I don't like that, and I like this? That's me at the okay. end there. Yeah, I, very, technically, I'm, I'm very I, uh, <laughs> I've always identi- identified as an anarcho-capitalist, uh, oh. but that's become trendy to be a, an anarchist yeah. um, by a bunch of people who don't know what anarchism is. Yeah, yeah. So I no longer want to be associated, except that my uh, <laughs> except my soap line. Yeah. yeah to, right. Unfortunately, that's already the name of it. Um, um, so you yeah. will, you do plan to vote, and you're going to vote. I'm for voting. Trump. Yeah, I've never voted before because of that yeah, anarchist shit, <laughs> but I will this year, and I'll vote for Trump um, because pedophiles. Yeah. Um, solely, solely because be, of pedophiles. because save the children. Yeah, that's solely because. Yeah, that doesn't mean that I don't agree with anything else that he's doing, or that I agree with everything else that he's doing. By mm-hmm. far, I don't. Um, so basically, ju- be based on the numbers of uh, of trafficking arrests and pedophile arrests, and the work that that the current administration is doing to uh, handle this massive issue, that people. I, that I've kind of been up on for about six years, but mm-hmm. most people don't know anything, didn't know anything about till recently. Right. That is that is the sway of the vote. It's not because, and I, and this is a, a fair question, because everyone, any of my friends who are not voting for Biden, uh, who are voting for Biden, it's just so that they're not voting. The, for Trump. Exactly. Yeah. Well, they're, they're only even voting on that for funny Biden. test I took on isidewith.com, uh-huh. It has like the de- <laughs> like three words of character description for all the candidates, mm-hmm. and Biden's was sense of humor. I, I've seen. <laughs> they had nothing else to say. Uh, is I, anybody voting for Biden because of Biden? I don't. Think well, that's so. what Does I'm saying. I've, I've seen. I've seen more times than not, and even heard people tell me personally that I'll take a pedophile as my president over Donald Trump. Yeah, I mean my my, and that is where we part ways. Yeah, yeah, my my, it's funny because about two months ago I was in the studio and my producer said that, but then last week he was like, "I need you to understand that I didn't mean that," and I was like, "Oh, so oh, so <laughs> you're coming, convenient, you're coming around now." Right now, I mean, like, look, this is the thing, I you know, I and I you know, I I posted a video of me 
you know, I interact with kids mm -hmm. on tour all the time. Like we have a couple of hit songs. The kids love the band. Mm -hmm. And so you have me who is like, you know, an ex crackhead junkie, alcoholic lunatic, uh, who's, you know, high five. Yeah, high five. <laughs> we, we could turn this thing around. You know, I was 11 years sober and became a sober coach and a philanthropist and the, you know, all these other things that, you know, the miracle of sobriety. And I hang out with kids. Like I go to meet and greets and they win radio things. And I know how to deal with kids. I got nieces and nephews. My friends have kids. I don't, my whole thing is like, no one is weirded out by the way that Biden interacts with children. Right. That it freaks me out. Right. You know, and it's not like, you know, I'm just like, there are just things that nobody ever explains. I would like an explanation on that. You know, I just know that no grown ma man has ever rubbed my head like that. In yeah, my or, life. or smelled my hair. Yeah. <laughs> or like put their fingers in my armpit. Yeah. That was weird. That's really weird. Struck the light yeah, hairs. he's a fucking author. Yeah, yeah, that whole thing, yeah. <laughs> no, um, called me a dog face pony so, boy. So as far as so the Bill Clinton got named in this thing, did you see this video, whether it's real or not, about the FBI that interviewed this kid that said when and it shows the full interview and the kid says when he was eight years old, yeah, he was I, on a yacht. I like, saw the blurred video. But again, it's unverified, right, so right. it's like inadmissible, and you know. And I'm not one of those people who like something comes out, and I'm like, yeah. I mean, I feel like if that was real, I, you can't put something like that out, and this guy's able to walk around. I mean, that's crazy. I mean, who know? We I don't know where this guy is, when that video was taken, but it's yeah. interesting. And I think now you're gonna see the floodgates open on accusations now that it becomes Because he, public. Tom Hanks got a citizenship yeah, in Greece. Greece. Yeah, where, they, Greek where they think pedophiles are yeah. uh, not criminal. Well, I mean, Greeks been <laughs> fucking each other since the dawn of time. I it's true. That's why I'm so good at yeah. naming I'm out, I'm out. My jury is not out, is like, is out on, on Tom Hanks. And it, I have a bias because I'm friends with one of his kids and I'm like... Okay, but mm -hmm. did you see all that stuff with his like mitts and... That, uh, the glove on the ground, yeah. but isn't that yeah, like but just so the to thing me, to like mock a fucking where a sprinkler goes or whatever? Yeah, but like, he, what wait, are the but, chances? But I mean, in my mind, right? This is the most comforting thought that I have. My the comforting thought is is that Tom Hanks might have gotten involved in some situation and then turned informant, like Catch Me If You Can, and that he's moved to Greece, almost like Julian Assange moved to the Ecuadorian embassy yeah. to seek asylum. If he is, I will apologize to yeah, him yeah, profusely. Yeah. But this I'll, is I'll a, bipolar but this is express. what I'm hoping for. Like, so again, I'm optimistic. Listen, it's one of those. Again, I, you know, I also go off about people, fa false accusations. People, I mean, yeah, the Me yeah. Too movement. Everybody calling everything rape, calling everybody a rapist. And yeah. I don't mean to come across that way. When there's enough little things about a specific yeah. person who is in power and making some kind of uh, contribution to the world, I think they should be looked at. Sure. Um, I'm called a conspiracy theorist for questioning things. Well, um, everyone is. I get right. that. I get that too. I've been threatened to be canceled by right. so many major. I'm uncancelable. Corporation. Yeah. Well, try <laughs> me. Try me, bitches. Well, that's the thing. They like. I, that's the thing. Like I, this happened with Markergate <laughs> when I. I basically. Markergate. I mean, I destroyed Black Lives Matter, not the movement, but the corporation, right. within six minutes with a bunch of kids' pens. And destroyed it, and it got 37 million views in four days, right? And I almost got canceled for that. Then everybody got mad at me again last week because, so this is fucking ironic. So my attorney sent me this video of these doctors talking about hydro, uh, hydroxychloroquine. The front line. <laughs> yeah, and I, po and I posted it, and I was like, wow, this is crazy. Like, I'm like, you know, whatever. And then I, I went and worked out, and the video went... <laughs> From twenty thousand views to eight point nine million, <laughs> like, I'm like, oh my god! And it was everywhere. It was everyone had it all over Facebook. It was in. It was at seventeen million, and then the, the president retweeted it. And then the next day, I got the call, like, if you don't, if you if you don't stop this, we're canceling you at the radio station, and da da da. And I'm just at this point, I'm just like. I don't fucking care anymore. Yeah, bring it. I don't. Well, I just don't care. Like, what are you? Principles gonna do? matter. Um, yeah. And people who have principles 
uh, should not be swayed by the threat of being canceled by society you, for sticking to their principles. If you believe something, you should say it. Look, well, well, no things, matter what side. I don't that think video, that science do should you, not be allowed to be discussed. We just should because not say, people are like, oh, you're, you're putting out false information that's putting us all in danger. Okay, cool. Well, if the fucking virus was so dangerous, why are we all not dead? Right. Like my friend, Your little my, cloth one, mask I, kept I keep you going safe. back to my anonymous buddy. He's had sex with 200 women during COVID, okay? Sometimes three at a time. This dude's a beast, okay? Dan Blazarian should be taking fucking notes from this guy. He has to have a fucking cough, okay? A fucking cough this whole time. I'm like, listen, when you get sick, I'll believe that I'm in danger. Right. And, and until, like, until then, we should be allowed to have conversations. We with positions, be hold on. To have so coaches. since yeah, yeah. since since the th thing about cancel culture, you don't. Uh, that's not a thing in your industry, correct? Like, oh, I mean, no, can it's it a be? Thing. Okay. Oh, no. So have you got backlash or anything for shit oh, that you say everything. and talk about? I get backlash every day for everything that I say. To me, it's hilarious in my industry because but backlash, like if you don't stop, no work, or backlash, please stop. Tom. You don't need to have. You don't need to be canceled by directors in porn. You just need to be canceled by the porn community. Because if people won't work with you, you don't have a career. Uh, if right, the companies right. will look bad for hiring you, you don't have a career. But here's my um, thing. I have friends who are not in porn that make porn on OnlyFans and make seventy, eighty thousand dollars a month. That's the funny part. So what is the matter? Who cares a few if you funny get canceled? Do you have beef with OnlyFans people? I don't. I okay. don't. I don't have beef with anybody who gives me money. Um, <laughs> oh, wait. You have an OnlyFans? I do, yeah. Oh, okay. Right. Um, I mean, like, the girls that just do OnlyFans and Listen, don't I made a funny tweet about it because uh, it was hilarious. I do think it's ironic that all of a sudden, all these girls who are better than yeah. me, um, all they of a sudden- They were single moms working yeah, at Trader Joe's a couple <laughs> months ago. All of a sudden, sex work is empowering yeah. <laughs> um, because you're broke. Right. Okay. It's cool. I'll still support you. I'll retweet your wow. OnlyFans. But just know that you're a hypocritical, judgmental piece of shit. And we all knew that, you know, a couple years ago when we were broke uh, and started sucking dick for money. But welcome. Um, this is a I'm so spicy glad. I'm episode. I'm so I'm glad saying, We're going to need part two. It's yeah. one of those I've gotten it. so much hate for. Like, yeah, yeah. The, the amount of hate for, like, being in porn or even before porn that, like, you know, from everybody on every side, especially women, these, mm -hmm. like, I'm better than you. I would never do that. Yeah, so yeah. could you please give me some money because I'm broke? Um, no. Yeah, yeah. Go suck dick for it like the rest of us. Um, right? That's what I'm... That's, I've been telling <laughs> yeah, people the that best forever. Is like, I, I mean, I dated somebody who was like, uh, who was like, uh, you know, an a Instagram model and talk shit about about any of my friends in Two porn. Two years later. Oh, uh, no, I know. And then it turns out, like, you had, like, hundreds and hundreds of nudes and fucking sex tapes that were leaked out on the internet, uh -huh. and you didn't even get paid for them. Uh -huh. I'm like, Slut. I know. I'm like, you have, <laughs> I'm like, you're judging my friends. I'm like, you've had, you are a civilian, and you've had more sex with more people than, any than porn star. my porn star <laughs> friends. I'm you like, you didn't get I, paid for it. Yeah, yeah I know. And how had a I, lot it's of just doctor crazy visits. to me. Yeah, it's crazy to me. We were talking about the soap model. That should be it. Shut up and go suck dick for money like the rest of us. Yeah. Or the soap model, <laughs> soap, or model. just shut yeah. up. Like, and I'm okay with if if you are too good to suck dick for money, I'm entirely okay with that. With that um, not. Yeah, if, if that's like part of your value system that you won't ever sell sex, I'm, I entirely respect that. But don't go asking people for free money. Yeah, if you're yeah. going to ask for handouts, but you're not willing to degrade yourself enough to uh, do the hard work. Well, what do you mean like handouts? Oh, you're talking about like Everybody people that tell people her, you know, people like uh, OnlyFans, but don't post any no, news. No, people, I mean, hit her people up and literally say, ask me, me for money all the time. Oh, yeah, yeah, and I too. give away a lot of money to random people on the internet. But I don't, that's crazy because I get pe people, people I grew up with call find my number and yeah, call me and people. ask for money and so i got a weird call i got a call the other day and i answered the phone it was this guy who was like hey is this tommy i was like no nah, it's not who the fuck is this he's like oh it's uh it's john from system of a down i was like oh john sorry <laughs> <laughs> i don't have your new number but that's how i answer the phone when i right. don't know the number i'm like who the fuck is this now because i've had so many people i can't believe you give people money that's crazy i mean randomly sometimes i did like when uh covid started i just do like little cash oh, yeah, out bullshit that. or whatever oh that's cool if yeah. you have money with groceries and shit I, I think the one thing of when i started looking You're into in a your shit financial bracket though I'm but, not. The, but the thing I is, had is 20 grand at 
at the time total to my name. But the oh. thing I is, when I when too. I look into your <laughs> shit, it's like and I gave away five of them. I like how transparent or how yeah. you deal with fans and the things that you do. Where it's not like, hey guys, having a giveaway and blah, blah blah. It's straight to the point. Like, check it out, dude. If you need fucking money for groceries and you're really struggling, hit me up and I'll help you out. Right. I mean, it wasn't much. I gave them each like a hundred bucks. Yeah, but, but still, it's like still, it's again, hundred dollars more than they had. at the time. That's still if a you're lot. actually, bro, I've been homeless. I know what a hundred dollars yeah, does too. when you're broke. Mm-hmm. It doesn't. We've all we all um, been there. I'm not trying to fund somebody's life because they don't want to work for it. If you're actually struggling, a lot of people were that first couple weeks before the like checks were coming out. People really were struggling and couldn't afford food. I'll help you with a hundred bucks. That should get you food for now. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, and I only had, like I said, I only had twenty grand at the time. I was broke too. I'd like, you know, just porn was shut down as much as anything else. I had just paid for a bunch of shit. Um, and at that point, like, yeah, my, uh, I, I gave away like five grand or something for that. It was like a little thing. Um, and it's like five grand is five grand. It's not going to change the world. Maybe it helped a couple people. I'm sure I got it, scammed by it, a bunch of people. It whatever. helps people change their lives. Um, though. You never know. Like, that's the thing. You know, I, I'm, you know, I, I, you never know how much just helping a person, how far that goes. I know. I mean, you and I, well, all of us know because we're in recovery. Mm. Um, Unless that was somebody's anonymous, whatever. I'm in recovery. I know just how no, far it's, helping it's a person. A, everyone knows that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. My okay. so, my like number one <laughs> song currently is called Sober. It's oh, like, there you everybody go. knows what's going on. Um, and then as well, um, you know, as somebody, I was homeless for four years. I know just how much a tiny bit of kindness can do, even if it's just to keep you from going completely off the edge yeah. for that day, for mm-hmm. that moment, whatever that is. Um, every little bit of kindness helps. Yeah. I'm not a fucking philanthropist. I it's talk so, shit about people for asking for money. Um, if somebody just hits me up, like, hey, could I have some money? Like, no. Answer's always no. If I offer, you can accept. Yeah. Um, and I do offer when it's convenient for me, when I feel like it. Um, I'm not somebody who thinks that everybody deserves everything. They don't deserve free shit. Nobody deserves anything for well, free. Well, we live in the entitlement age. I think that the the, the, the kind of co-occurring disorder of of music and porn is that because the internet has it for free. Yeah, that we should you be doing shouldn't, it for free. Yeah, we should do it for free. Like, pe- like we have a Patreon, and people sign up to the Patreon, and they have access to a- an entire covers album, and the guys in the band do, like, live performances mm-hmm. on there. We've done a concert, and it's just, it's 10 what bucks a month. What about me? Well, people, well, well, why don't you free. Put, put it on YouTube? <laughs> and I'm like, no. Because we all have yeah. bills too. Well, and it's, just, the, and the it's other like thing... people think that. Well, this is the other thing. People just are like you're a rock star, you're famous. I'm like, first of all, <laughs> I'm not rich. I'm like, I right. pay my, I take care of my. My mother's seventy one years old. I take care of her. Mm-hmm. I don't have a nice car. I don't waste money right. on nice. I don't do, you know, I'm, I don't do nigga rich bullshit things, bro. And I'm from the hood, and I saw what right. happened to all my homies when I was a kid who started selling dope, and they got money. And they bought a bunch of dumb shit. Yeah. And then they got stuck in a cycle. I'm like, I don't do that. Got a sick Gucci man bag. (laughs) Yeah. It's like, dude, it's fucking, you know. So, so people, there's nothing wrong. Amanda Palmer did a TED talk about this. There's nothing wrong with asking people to pay for the work that you do. Right. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. And, and people, just because you're a fan of something doesn't enti- like entitle you to it for free. Well, people are like, yo, you should put all these songs on YouTube. I'm like, yo, you should give me your car. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, yo, let me move into your house. Actually, yeah. get out of your house. I live here now. Here, right. this is the music. Because that's how much money you're taking away. Like, right. what do you think this is? Well, and then I, I realized, too, I mean, I, I, I realized, I looked the other day, and the internet says that my net worth is uh, $5 million. Damn. And I was laughing. Um, oh, I'm worth like, uh, yeah. I was like, where did they pull that number out of? I Jesus, don't know. I've never had anywhere close. I've never had more than yeah. like 120 grand at a time yeah. ever in my life. I don't know, where did they come up? People I'm think glad that they because- say that about you, though. It's Dude, good, it's yeah. hilarious. I don't. I'm not glad because you're demeaning like the actual excess that I have, which I'm very proud of. I went from homeless to a homeowner in California in seven years. I'm fucking yeah, proud of that incredible. fact. I don't need to be a multimillionaire. Um, and then it's like, do you just assume that everybody who, just because you know who they are, that they're all millionaires and mm-hmm. then you hate us and that's why you think you deserve something for free from me well, i struggle and work my ass off just like everybody else it's the low self-esteem thing it's like people um they need to believe that i got something handed to me because you're not successful yeah well i don't i mean like i just start in this podcast my friends back home are under the impression that like you're a I'm, yeah now? that i have a fucking infinity pool and right. i'm like dude 
I'm paying for the studio you know, to right. do this. Infinity pool? Oh, <laughs> it's sick. crazy. I've only seen I don't even one. swim in it. I literally, I don't all even I eat swim is ramen. I, just put... I don't spend money on anything. But ramen? <laughs> yeah. All right, we're going to get you a food, a food, a meal prep sponsor. <laughs> right. Are you guys paying attention <laughs> right now? I don't now? need a sponsor. No, no, we got you. I'm going to get you some good food, <laughs> girl. We're going to feed you good food. Whatever, spreads are good. still delicious. I make them a little spreads? more high. Yeah, I make them a little yeah, more high class now. No, we're not doing that here, girl. They're delicious. She's like, I'm out here making soap. I don't got time to eat them. I told you we weren't going to get to any of your questions. We are. Okay. That's, I'm going <laughs> to fucking take the reins. So Jenna Jameson went public about being raped, conditioned, and trafficked in Hollywood. Oof, that was a deep cut. To what me. is your experience with sexual assault in the industry, being groomed, being, you know, doing things you didn't want to do? In the industry, not much. It happens. It didn't happen to me, uh, nor would it happen to me. I also got into the industry when I was 24 years old. Um Harder Do you think it's take... a thing where it's like the more v- naive, vulnerable you are? Like I think the younger you they, are. They try to... I, I go, I'm very see... public about my opinion that you should not be able to do porn until you're 21, mostly for that reason. 18-year-olds' prefrontal cortexes have barely even begin begun mm. uh, it, developing. And to... I mean, they are more naive. They're also unable to set and maintain clear boundaries. boundaries. There right. are exceptions, mm-hmm. I'm sure, but not worth the multitude of girls who get taken advantage of mm-hmm. simply because they're they're not equipped. Have you turned work down due to the fact of being like, this is creepy or the vibe Absolutely. or whatever? Absolutely. Um, I also... I've been pretty loud about everything that I think since I got into this industry. Nobody really tries to book me for shit that they know I'm against. If I've been on sets where I almost walked out because they wanted me to put a little animal like clip in my hair. I'm not fucking doing that. Mm-hmm. I said I'll wear the pink an, sparkly one because that is not clip? specifically for kids. Right. But a little clip with an animal in that is a, give me that the pink weird... dildo. I'm not taking yeah, one with yeah, elephants yeah. all over. Yeah, no, seriously. One is 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 a fantasy. So it's obviously it, so not real. I look like a 40 year old tweaker. Yeah. Um, so, there's, so that's a fantasy. <laughs> So that's actually a thing. There's like a that's to make a, you look like a little girl. Yeah, I'm not a little girl. Right. I'm okay with. Um, I don't even know if and that anymore. But at the time, it was like I'm okay with the the va- like the weird setting with like the fucking <laughs> the, stuffed animal. I won't the do little that. kids room. Yeah, it's really fucking creepy to me. But there, <laughs> so it's one weird. thing to give an illusion. It's another thing to. Um, to really press hard on the trying to convince people that this girl is underage. That's fucking it's disgusting. Crazy. I'm not well, into it. I'm a, not going to support it, it. It's also, what it's doing is is that it's it's also desensitizing right. the viewers. And also, one of the main issues that, that I, you know, because I, I have friends who work in the trafficking divisions in different cities. Mm-hmm. And they're saying that the age of... Pedo- of of child molesters, the offenders are getting younger yeah. than they've ever seen, and it's from the overexposure right. to the access. And so, you know, barely legal is a is gateway to pedophilia right. that people don't realize. Well, it's also like you know, there there's genuine, there's actual pedophiles mm-hmm. um, who are born that way, whose attractions never grow up with them. Um, that's, I mean, it's been proven that it's a, a, it's in your brain. It's they're born with it. You can't help it. Mm-hmm. And then there's this um, porn plays a huge part in this in just desen- desensitization. People used to be able to get off about two girls making out. That's now so. Now I gotta fuck my stepsister. Yeah, now now you gotta watch a girl get gang banged and have everybody piss on her face afterwards. And they're all related. Well, I mean, you know. Yeah. What kind of family reunion is this? But 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 there there is a point. Sounds like a Mormon one. I don't know. My aunt (laughs) never pulled my dick out like that. What the fuck? (laughs) But but really, Braz has really nailed it. Progression of like we get desensitized (laughs) and things. The things that we have to watch to to achieve (laughs) orgasm get crazier and crazier and more and more wrong. Especially the older you get too. And at some point, where is there to go? So there's genuine pedophiles, mm-hmm. and then there's people who just like things that are wrong, and they've run out of other things that are wrong. Yeah. Um, and and people don't explain to the average human uh, that you can reset that. I do it to myself all the time. As soon as I start like watching shit that makes me uncomfortable, and I don't mean child porn, obviously, <laughs> but like I mean, I like I have a sleep fetish thing. I like when 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 any of my shit starts making me uncomfortable. It's like ah, oh, this is getting wait, wait, a little wait, weird. What's a sleep yeah, fetish? Yeah. We're not just gonna fucking <laughs> breeze over what a sleep fetish. Well, let me finish sleep the point. Fetish, first. I know because okay. this is important I had, that I had people a understand. Who is into this. Okay, go ahead. It's 
it is possible to completely reset that cycle. And so what I'll do is I'll go back and jerk off to two chicks making out until it makes me come. Sometimes it takes me an hour and a fucking half That's because a long I'm desensitized. Time. Yeah, oh, but it's worth it's not it to enough, me. Like, right. And, it's worth right. it to me to not go that step further. And people aren't explained this that you can reset it. It doesn't have to just keep getting worse and worse and worse. Go fucking jerk off to two girls making out until it works again. What Watch about, two people what about make love. A, what about go back abstinence. through the cycle. I think yeah. Like what about time off? You know what I mean? That I mean that will do the same thing. Yeah. Um some there are people in the industry who believe that that like daddy daughter fucking fetish shit helps people uh have an outlet who do want to fuck kids. I disagree. I think that I mean sexuality is like I, I equate it to drug mm. addiction. I can't do drugs on Sundays to quell my need to do drugs. Yeah. That's not how it fucking works. And yeah. sexuality is the same. Right. If something is wrong, feeding the beast a little bit yeah. to keep it at you bay can't is... can't just fuck a kid on a Sunday and no. I'm good the rest of no. the week. No, and you don't jerk <laughs> off to it. You don't... Don't tell Father Capadonna. <laughs> no though, fucking right? weird little baby dolls. Like, yeah, you just yeah. can't. And that's one of those where abstinence is, is mandatory. You have to just be abstinent. Go to fucking therapy. Learn cognitive behavioral... Get cognitive behavioral therapy. Do the fucking 12 steps i don't care it teaches people how to modify their behavior wait but if you're doing that reset for you then why can't somebody who's attracted to that children shit are you saying they I'm can saying, do that also i'm saying you're the, saying they can put they stay they can be put into remission like, i'm saying that there's two types of people who we'll just talk about porn there's two people types of people who watch child porn there's actual pedophiles who have a brain right, disorder right. um they and then there's no hope for them Right. No hope for them to not be pedophiles. Right. There is hope for them to not hurt kids or right. download child porn. Chuck, okay. their um, dicks and hands off. Then there's the people who just like weird shit and the wronger it is, the better. Okay. Those are the other people right. who watch child porn. Those people can reset. Just fucking watch them. You don't get to watch that. Like, for fuck's sake. It's not okay. I, and I think that even you comes down to a regular relationship where you've been with someone for so long and you're getting crazier and weirder and latex and zippers and <laughs> fucking asp shit. And it takes kind of resetting to that connection of like, right. remember when like we used to Make talk love. and like, <laughs> yeah. you know, making love is a, might be a stretch it's <laughs> for some. Making love is kind Not of the sexiest thing me, in the but, world to me at this but point. But yeah, but it's the that, it's thing, that it's thing, the thing of like, thing to find. well, it's when, very rare. There, there is, there's a, the, the emotional intimate aspect of that is so like, it's so, it's like, where is that anymore? Right. So it becomes like when it happens, I mean, this is that's one of the components of me personally. Why, how I easily got into toxic relationships because that the component of being present was enough to pull the switch, right. and then it's not all the other things of like, you know, does this person check out? Is this a safe person? Am, right. am I going to end up like yeah. you know in a wooden box somewhere <laughs> in a park? You know, but I so, think that's very important to say about that reset because even in my own personal relationship, I've had to do that a few times where right. it's like. Let's take a step back and like do the things that we did in the beginning right. that was simpler. I think you know? it's really important. And, and then, then it when that in a world, again. in a society too, where porn is free and so easily available that right. fucking kids can watch it, everybody right. can watch it. I think it's really important information for somebody to spread awareness that you don't just have to get weirder and weirder. That is not that all porn stars would be complete psychopaths. When I was a kid, I had a VHS um, that well, used uh, to know what pot to fucking fast forward to for 20 most minutes. Most porn people have more sexual morals than regular people that I know because we, we have to be more aware of it. We have to well, keep I it think in check. It's, I think it's also, too, people don't understand. I, you know, I've dated, four, I've had five, four or five different, five porn stars that I've dated over the course of my life. And it's completely there. And it's very much like being a performer on stage. The person who is performing on set is not the same human being that you are. It's a character. Right. And the characters right. shift. <laughs> well, yeah, sometimes. But I feel like part of why my yeah, porn was I don't was know if she goes home people, and just makes love. I, I mean, I do. I make love in my porn scenes, too. But it's like the... Mm -hmm. it's, it's um, and the, I feel like that's why I was diversity. successful. Because I, I'm not... I'm sober, for one. So and, and then what gets me off most is... I, I used to call it fabricated intimacy. And that's what porn gives you. You don't have to take any of the risk of, like... Uh, getting to Meeting know somebody, someone, actually being right, vulnerable right, with right, them. Right, um, right. You have to be vulnerable to get intimacy. You so what that is, scrub it's to stolen. Five minutes. Yeah, it's stolen intimacy. I'm like eye contact. I'm like trying to pull everything I can out of a person, and I didn't have to earn it. That's that was fun for me. Um, you don't have to do porn to do that, though. 
Yeah, but one, I mean, the safety of the other person is important. In porn, the person that I'm working with understands that this ends when the scene does. Do you, yeah, but um, you can do that with a conversation. I've definitely had that situ- scenario where it's like you have the boyfriend experience conversation and you're like, look, this is, you know, it's about boundaries too. Right. You know, but I, I mean, I like just like to be playing with. Before this happens, just so you right. know. No, but you can tell people. I'm that not staying. It's like you that. Know? It's like, okay, recovery dating. It's like that. Um, you know, I mean, in, in recovery, we're all supposed to be responsible for our own actions and not the other person's. If I'm dating somebody who has 30 Theor- days theoretically. clean. Theoretically. Right. If I'm dating someone who has 30 days clean and I can see that all their actions are starting to mimic mine, they're changing yeah, who yeah. they are so that I'll like them. They don't, I'm not controlling them, but they're being controlled and it's yeah. not a healthy relationship for them. It's still my responsibility to walk away. Well, mm-hmm. then people can do that with five and 10 years sober. Right. It's about the, it's a, that's why but recovery, still, when if, we were if, saying if, time is not a tool, right. it's about the work. Yes. What is the fucking sleep? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, limp fetish. It's a thing. Um, yeah, I, fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> I like uh, limp bodies. I like to be a limp body. It just is what it is. Wait, so, you mean like so that pretend you're sleeping and someone fucks either you? Either way. Now, one of them or is rape. watching. <laughs> I, I um, mean, so, no, wait, wait, not wait. like sneaking into someone's house and just, oh, you're asleep. Here you go. But y- Yeah. Okay. But I have, I have, okay, there's also established consensual non-consent. Right. I've so, had relationships where, I mean, in every relationship I'm in, it is very understood that right. you're always allowed to have sex with me while I'm sleeping. That's a thing. So I've had people like drive all the way to my house, like break in. Uh, right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah, leave yeah. a load in me, leave, yeah, yeah. lock oh, the Jesus door behind Christ. them. That didn't turn me on. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> At least they locked the door. You um, keep asking. I know, it's great. It's great. <laughs> yeah. Wait, so, but do you want to see a guy sleeping and you want to, like, start having sex with him, too? Or what's, well, are, are you both? Are you bi? You into guys I and like girls? I like girls almost a lot more than boys. I like dick and women. Men kind of lost me. You like dick, huh? Dick and, and women. Dick. I, yeah, oh, you don't and, like what's uh, attached right, right, to their right. yeah. cock's cool. What about, no, I love men. Do you date trans? Uh, I haven't. I would. Okay. Um, I don't have it. It, it. To me, it's all about human. It's about a, a, the person. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've dated a lot of people that the a lot of people would consider unattractive. Um, I like what I like, and usually it has a yeah, lot more to do with uh the inside than the outside. Do you date within the industry? Or? No, I never have. Never. I don't shit where I eat. So uh, I would. There's people who I would. So consider what's uh what's a guy gotta do to sh- fucking shoot a shot? What's the best way for someone to approach? Com, uh, comma RX to ask. <laughs> don't. <laughs> so what? That y'all just supposed to take the alpha lead and be like, "Hey man, you want to date?" And they're like, "Yeah." Please. You just go up to people while they're Listen, sleeping and be I like, "Hey, you want to fuck?" Like, ah, fuck no. it. And not in some subtle way. I have no problem saying what I want. Someone um, seen also... you out somewhere at a restaurant? Should they approach you? No, you Why can not? say hi or something. Um, well, they have no well, idea here, what you do. A, they're like, "Don't you a... make soap?" Well, here's the thing. I mean, here, that's cool. Wait, wait, wait. Let me interject. Hold on. This is about. This is part of the conversation we had before. This is where that this comes into play. Dating people, right, mm-hmm. that know who you are I versus have, don't. I can only date people who I knew before porn. How does that how does that work? Um So you basically have limited So guys you your, went to high your, school with? Yeah. yeah. My so current you, boyfriend I've known since I was 8. He hates porn. God. Um how does he? Yeah. How does he? I shouldn't have gone there. Okay, um, we're <laughs> skipping right but over. But yeah, no, I have to. What a communist! Um, if I meet a new person who knows who I am, I mean, I could date them. I don't always want to be Karma like, RX. Yeah, to them. You, when you yeah, meet yeah. someone um, you don't know that you can trust, they don't know who you are. Right, and even if, I mean, yeah, even still, I don't want to be. I don't want to have to be at, uh, Karma RX all the time. Sometimes I just want to be Karma. Right. Um, I don't want to worry about um, smearing my entertainment name um, within my home. I don't want the two related at all. Yeah. Wait, um, how do you mean smearing your entertainment name within your home? We break up. They go say a bunch of shit mm-hmm. about Karma RX. Right. Um, oh, yeah, right. Always take my personal all information the time. is gross. no longer personal because yeah, I am same. a porn star to you. Um, yeah, but right, I mean, it's right. the same thing as being a rock star. It's like you know, but isn't you, that doesn't going that out? leave fear behind you guys all the time of like, yeah, dude, who you can know, I wait, date? Wait, just wait. If this thing takes off, you're going to like stay with your chick, nah, bro. I plan on yeah, it. You know what I mean? You guys up. break up and you go on a date don't and all of a sudden it's you go. It's cute for a minute being famous. It's cute for you a don't, minute. You don't want somebody um, knowing every intimate detail about everything you ever did to be on the fr- the other yeah. table of a first date. You're like. I know. You must go through that same thing. Like, I yeah, want this girl just. Dude, sometimes it's like, hey, uh, so, you know, I heard your brother murdered you. I'm like, 
When you were recording Zombie, right. what? Okay. Yeah, like it's like, wait, what? what? Microphones I don't want to fucking interview her. Um, I also. <laughs> yeah, how did you? Uh, oh, so how did you find right. me? Like, someone's oh, like, it's really tricky. Someone's like, babe, in the, um, in menu so in, in fucking it's weird. Huge Tits 7, when you had right. that fucking Brad's <laughs> cock and like, was that, did you enjoy that? And you yeah, go, you oh, winked fuck. a little bit in yeah. 30 seconds in. And you was, didn't was wink that? when you were sucking my dick last yeah, night. Like, is it? I want to date a guy who watches my porn. Um, well, it's like I told you. So I had met you, uh, I'd say, 2017, mm-hmm. um, and you were a uh, you sold the vaping accessories in the valley, and I remember you had uh, Raven tattoos, and that's why I was like, oh shit, I like your tattoos, blah blah blah. And then, lo and behold, uh, we find out that you're coming on, and I could, had kind of heard through the Valley Grapevine that this was your thing, and like I said with the Snapchat, you had this famous banana video. If <laughs> no one knows about her b- banana video, feel free to go. Definitely not waste, it will not waste time of your life watching it. It's very <laughs> worth watching. Everybody does it now. Yeah. But I started Oh, you she started, started this trend. Video. I started oh, and the horror. On the, the whole thing. fucking, and the no. what? The horror with the O being the. Ah, I that's did that fucking too. good too. Oh. So, and I then, anyways, that. and then, so like up until yesterday when I was doing some stuff to figure out about what to ask you and everything, and uh, I maybe stumbled across a few of your videos and stuff, and I was like, well, hey, you found, uh, you found something you're good at. So, congratulations. <laughs> That was, it. That, was yeah, that was it. That was it. That was the point. That's it. There you go. All right, Shane. Well, Thanks. Uh, okay. Thanks for having me. I'm yeah. out of here. Well, um, that's all right. Well, actually, what I wanted to ask you was how hard was it to get known? Because I feel like it's been a short period of time. And I was known before I started doing porn from Snapchat and all that stuff. Oh, so it was um, like you tr- it was able to transfer over. And then here's the other thing: over. people act like, "Oh, you were a pretty girl. You didn't have to work." Okay, I did work to. But be I guess how did, how, how did the call? Girls are they were in Los Angeles. But yeah, how did but of- how did the call go? Like, did someone reach out to you, or did you find out an agency you could reach out I, to? I had almost two million followllowers. No, almost a million followers before I ever did porn. So on I, Instagram. Yeah, on Instagram. Okay. So and that's so the here's move what too though. That's no, like... but here's here's the thing that that's important. I wasn't that pretty. I paid a lot of money to be good looking. I drove Uber for fucking like a year to pay for my tits. Um, I was homeless and I did a lot of drugs. I'm not that good looking without all the Those stuff. Those are Uber tits, guys. The enhancements. Guys. R- regardless. So to build my Instagram, I learned all the algorithms. I, I read a bunch of articles about marketing, how to use which hacked hashtags, who, who to tag and what um, to build a page. It so helped you're, you're that I was a pretty true entrepreneur. Chick. Well, it's like yeah. Fuck, people I'll love. I, I get annoyed when people act like something was handed to me because nothing was. I literally used to spend like hours every day while working twelve hours a day. Meanwhile, and trying to struggling run a with staying and, sober. Also, right, right, I was newly sober. Not that newly. A couple years. I had a couple years sober. I'm doing like I'm. I'm running this Snapchat thing now in the middle of the night. Um, working twelve hours a day minimum. Um, every single day of the week, I worked my fucking ass off, and like, and I built this Instagram. Um, mm. and I made myself fake famous or whatever. Um, and then, so when I got into porn, it was easy because I already had that 800,000 followers or whatever it was at the time. Um, and it, it, what, that wasn't hard. How did just, the premium mm. Snapchat do prior to that? You do all right with that? Porn? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. So then why, why, why do porn when the Snapchat and OnlyFans and all that shit, you can make money on that? Why it is fun. it, is it the... Well, I feel like to be I known. feel like porn is once you do that, it's more of a platform and it gives you a wider There's, audience. Okay, isn't the it? real reason was I had my I had sick fuck models, so it was my own company. I had girls that worked for me. It was like the little pathetic version of what Fan Centro is now. Mm-hmm. Um, and I ran that whole company. I did dealt with every chargeback. I did the ads for six girls' pages. Added people to the. It was so much fucking work that I would rather. I took a seventy five percent pay cut, cut to do porn because I just had to show up, do my job, and go home. Right. And I didn't have to fucking think about right. it. Running a business is hard. Yeah. Running my soap business mm-hmm. is hard. Everybody who owns a business knows that it's not all fun and games. And all that little grunt work that you think there's teams doing. I don't have any fucking teams. It's, it's us. me. I'm yeah, doing yeah. every single bit of it. So running that the Snapchat thing was so much more work than like people. Look Oh, you just jerked off on Snapchat. No, I literally stayed stayed up all night. I love when girls call it jerked off. Right. Dealt with fucking chargebacks (laughs) and like people, like, it's just, it's a pain in the ass. So porn was like way easier for me. I got to the point that last year when I was doing Snapchat, I made more money than I've ever had in my life and, or made in my life. so crazy. And wanted to shoot myself in the head because I couldn't fucking do anything. I didn't have time to go to a fucking restaurant with a friend. Like, that was my whole fucking life. And it's like, dude, it's not Mm. worth it. No amount of money is worth like... My happiness and my, yeah. I want to live my life. You just burn yourself out. It's like with anything. Right. I mean, you right. just burn out and it's not fun anymore. Right. It's like, what's the point? And so that? I'd rather make less money and enjoy my life. That's right. Do you have fun doing what you do? Always. You dig the industry? I would never do anything that I don't want to do. Have, do you know anybody 
in the industry who has got COVID-19? Personally. I'm sure there are some. No, personally. Do you know I, anyone? No, no. Do you know anyone that has COVID-19 at I all? I don't. One of my I, I see people posting the like, COVID, but yeah, I see people posting like, oh, this guy died, deaths. and I'm like, oh man, yeah. that sucks. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't know I, anyone I know, in my I know immediate 18 life. People who got who uh, now eighteen. The number is eighteen people who t- who I know personally who tested positive, and only seven people had symptoms. It was six, and it was yeah. six to, six to twelve. And now it's well. Seven my my to buddy, uh, my buddy Stevie tested for it, and uh, he was sick as shit. Said he lost his taste, and he still everything he eats tastes like fucking rice cakes. But you know he's rice fine. Rice cakes aren't bad. Yeah. Listen, I'm not. I'm not one of those that thinks that COVID isn't real. Oh no, it's um, definitely I real. Just We're just wondering about. I'm just wondering where entirely. I just want to know in situations yeah. where people are very close to each other and especially close in what you do, if it's running rampant or if they had to shut down. You know, or I don't really know. I haven't up. shot since like. Like February or whatever. I'm busy making soap right now. <laughs> so um, I'm sure that, they, I mean, Catch we me test all the soap. time about everything. I don't know what's going on. I'm not really into the drama right now with my industry. Um, there's a lot of it, and I'm on the wrong side of every fucking drama. So are you turning down work right now? Yeah. Um, to make a point, this, or is, is, do you want to be right or do you want to be this, happy? Is a soap I'm doing happier better? making soap, fuck off, and okay. not having to work with people who called me a racist a month ago. Um, whatever. Why'd that come Wait, up? why do they call you yeah. racist? Because I said that it's child abuse to bring children to riots. Yeah, it's not a safe place. Right. No. That could have been the end of the conversation, but But no. why does that make you racist? Uh, because, well, it's because the, uh, it, because the internet right. is filled with Somebody actually told me morons. that if a picture of their child getting abused by the police made it to the internet, it would uh, <laughs> make a bigger stand towards their cause. But the At fun- that point, but you no shouldn't ch- have a fucking child. You're a piece of shit. No police um, officer would ever just beat up a child. I saw you a video of not. a little girl getting maced in the face. Because she was in the wrong place. It wasn't, they didn't mace the child. They maced, maced an adult and it got the little yeah, girl. Get a babysitter, um, will you? Yeah. Fuck yeah, you. you your children do not belong in a riot. That's what I said. Well, um, we, and well, then that we made also, me a racist. Can we also just, ex- look, this is the other Everybody thing. got over the me being a racist. Everybody thing, who way. went to the fucking protests and the racist. riots when <laughs> we were supposedly in this, like, this whole, like, COVID, like, we're all going to die, and you went out to protest, you're an idiot. Right. You're a fucking idiot and a clown. And fuck you, yeah. and I'll smash your fucking teeth in with my fist, bro. If you have a problem with now, me, I want to go to the child internet. sex trafficking riots. Yeah, yeah, but hold on. So I'm, but this is what I want to talk about. I want to say, I'm, no, hey, no listen, I'm not happening. finished. I'm really fucking Nobody's pissed off about this. <laughs> I'm really pissed Uncle off about Tommy this. Coming in. These fucking people, right? This is a fucking. This is the fucking thing. People are fucking insane with this shit, and so you. We uh we have acquiesced and we have destroyed the economy, right? Because of COVID. But if you want to go riot and burn things down, the virus gives you a pass because the virus is politically aware and the virus is a ci- it's a civil rights virus right. from China. Right. It's the most it's the most Advanced. futuristic <laughs> fucking thing that we've ever had. And you know, we thank God we got Bill Gates on the case, right? Because fucking <laughs> whom MSNBC just did a whole write-up. They just did a whole thing about him connecting him to Epstein. So we're supposed Man, I'm to take tired a, of being right. I know, Jeez, but I've been saying this for my fucking conspiracies. My years, God, yes, yeah, so have I. Since before, tr- before it was trendy to talk about Epstein. The, like some of us have been talking about this for a long fucking time, and I'm glad more yeah. people are talking about it. But don't Six try to act years. like I'm on some fucking Trump train. I believed no. in all this shit, and I've been talking about child sex trafficking for longer than I've been in porn. Mm-hmm. It's just that now all of a sudden it's it's trendy or whatever. Well, like, we, fuck we, off, Tommy. When we you marched on Friday, how many people? had masks on yeah. what do you mean at the at, at the, the the march for the child uh, save the children uh n- not too many there was like a rise up rise up for children 150 200 people i wore a mask in case i assaulted somebody 100 percent. i'm gonna be honest <laughs> with you no i'm serious was there any blowback or anyone that wasn't no for everybody it is pro anti-trafficking you would there hope so. nobody and it's not a political yeah, and that, it's not dude, for the th- right or the left we it's don't like, need to make fucking no. child sex trafficking political if there's anything in the world it's not pro trump i'm gonna talk is that where they're looking it's pro, not yeah. fucking pro trump to be anti-child abuse for fuck's sake yeah, we can it's, all it's be insane. anti-child abuse well the other thing that people don't realize the statistics somebody this this is the other thing that really pisses me off is that people are trying to say you know child's life matter is taking away from i'm like bro first of all let me explain to you 
Let me, if you think black lives matter and you don't think black children's lives matter, this is the issue. The statistics are as such. 800,000 kids go missing a year. 60% of those are recovered, which means 320,000 kids are presumed dead. Right. Right? Murdered or killed, raped, and left for dead. Out of the 320,000 of those, 60% are African American. You know, somebody so, had the audacity to tell me that those statistics are overblown. Ins- uh, uh, well, I can't help you. <laughs> I can't but the other you. thing, too, is what they you. get for time. Like, I saw something today that's like uh, six ch- uh, get charged in child sex trafficking and 81 years combined. I'm like, dude, do the math. That's like 13 and a half years each. That's it? Yeah, it's and for that fucking is trafficking kids. Rare. But you look at the 81 years and go, yeah, they got what they deserve. No, motherfucker, they didn't. That's and do also the math. That's if they get convicted of the right. child sex trafficking. Plus, crime, they're going to go to a minimum and do half that. Yeah, most of them don't get charged for their biggest crime. They take some lower offense, mm-hmm. take a plea deal. They do fucking probation for, uh, for a statutory rape. Um, and they don't even fucking see jail. And that's the truth. And if you know all the fucking child molesters like I happen to, thanks God for that life. Um, but that, that's, tr- that's the truth. The truth is that they don't do the time because everybody understands that in the prison system, they're killed for it. So they do smaller. They end up doing smaller sentences. Well, the prisons Which, protect me, them, too. We've talked about try, that before. They try, but they still get lower sentences because they don't see it worth somebody losing their life in prison over child pornography. But, but. Um, would you agree that a dead pedophile can't reoffend? Um, yeah, but okay. So I tweeted this this morning too. There's a whole list of them on the internet. Who's going to be the big mass murderer? That's only the convicted ones who had to register. It's been on the internet for a long time now. Where's all the mass murderers who are going killing all the pedophiles? It's cute to say kill all pedophiles, all right. but well, it's nobody. What happens it's is a that different nobody, time. Well, nobody I'm gonna exp- does I'm gonna say. Well, I'm gonna say the when and when I grew up. Pedophiles got murdered. Right. Because two there were two components where I grew up. There was the mafia and the police. Right. And the police didn't fuck with the mafia when it came to disposing of pedophiles. Um, yeah, that's not really so much the case anymore. Yeah. Also, pedophilia is so wild, like worldwide and overblown. It's so big, they're estimating it's 320 million people. Um, 5%, 5 to 6% of... They, the internet says 1 to 5%. They're saying probably more like 5 to 6% of our population. That's a lot of fucking that people are to a- murder. That are acting? No, that are pedophiles. Okay. Pedophile, as we talked about earlier, me- meaning somebody who has an attraction yeah, to Yeah, I mean a convicted... Convicted is one thing. Most people don't ever get convicted. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So there's a huge number of, I mean, even if you just went after the convicted ones, there's a lot of them. I don't see anybody mass murdering everyone on Megan's Law. So it's cute to say mm-hmm. kill all child molesters, but what ends up happening is nothing. And the kids keep getting raped because everybody's too uncomfortable to have the conversation well, people, about what do we actually do. People well, are more concerned with, can, did I get 200 likes because I put up something that says kill all fucking right. pedophiles. Which helps who? You know what that what saying kill all pedophiles does in practice is it makes the non-offending pedophiles who are, I mean, to me, a non-offending pedophile is someone who hasn't committed any crime against but children. Is dying and is Right. And is and is a pedophile is, and is an offending pedophile waiting to happen. So what did we just do? We just ostr- ostracized this person, told them that we fucking hate you whether you hurt them or not. Um, Might as well fuck a kid. Right. So that's the other thing, and and I get more hate for that than any fucking more no, than. No, but that's a challenge. That is so that challenges my I, that challenges my mentality. And mine too. You know what I mean? But my I'm old, glad that we have. But this is a great example of. When an idea is presented that challenges a way that uh, a fixed mental position that you have, you have to absorb it and accept it because that is a. If that, you're a it, rational human being. Yeah, yeah, because that is, like, and I'm not, a, but I'm not a rational human being as we've clearly yeah. seen. <laughs> Neither is anybody. Yeah. But yeah. here's the thing, and I and I, I talk about this too. Everybody's talking about they're trying to normalize pedophilia. About as many children in this current, like the new generation, uh, grow up being sexually abused as don't. Mm-hmm. S- pedophilia is already fucking normalized. You guys just won't open your eyes to it. Yeah. It's already normal. Can we fucking look at the problem already? And think well, about because it. I, the issue it's too is, uncomfortable oh, for the, me to, to look at while, issue, while kids are getting fucking raped. The, I'm sure they're more uncomfortable. This is the other issue is that it's not this, like, yes, are there, is it this, uh, the Hollywood elite pedophile ring is all getting blown. It's all coming up, right? Mm-hmm. It's all coming out. However, let them pay for their fucking sins. But you, of course. But what? But what people also don't understand is, 
dude, it's your neighbor. Yeah. It's it's your brother. Uh, your well, brother, dude, do you know what? Do you it's know what priest, COVID has uncle, done for this? Like mother, how much yeah. domestic abuse not, uh, and fucking. Well, look at Ellen DeGeneres. <laughs> what? <laughs> how many kids have been sexually abused? Probably t- tenfold due it's, to this COVID it, shit and uh, staying home. Right. The, the, abuse the, in the, general. It has the to CBS be. The CBS reported uh, six hundred times yeah. more yeah. children have been molested since COVID. And and beaten and every other thing. Mm-hmm. And so it's really cute to talk about. Um, well, we need to do what's best and stay home. And then and then also act like you give a fuck about children. But some children are literally locked in with their. Uh, abusers Look right at the now. Gabriel Hernandez story, dude. That you know, that's just one bad. story right. Of, right. of millions that are going on across thing, the globe. And, and that's the other thing. They don't make the headlines. People act like it's some it's small, insignificant problem because nobody gives a shit. But it's nobody almost like some it. of this stuff, I, and it's I, I, I understand that it doesn't make the news because they don't, you know what it doesn't saying. make the news? Because nobody wants to watch but that. It's because, not even, exactly, because if you change the, if they talk about it, they change the channel, and you change the right. channel, they lose but, the but ad money know, from the advertisers. But do you know advertisers. how many people can't even comprehend? Like, it's even for me, so hard for my brain to comprehend how you beat and molest children that, like, you have to sit back and go, like, that's real? Like, you really do that? And I feel like so many people are so naive to what really goes on that they go like, my brain can't even comprehend I, I what you're telling me right now. I talk about this, too, because, and, and I, I do understand that because I was one of those people. I grew up homeless. I had a hell of a story before all this. Um, so were you, you, were, uh, you were abused as a child? I was in a child porn case. Okay. Uh, a big one. Um, I was a missing kid, underage. Uh, I was trapped. I, I did all that stuff. You were a runaway or abducted? Or both. Depends on... Uh, who you ask. Yeah. <laughs> Depends on who you ask. At the time, I would have said I was a runaway. Did you have an unsafe home you had to get out of? Uh, I had a drug addiction. My home wasn't great. I had a restraining order on my father, but I wasn't in his custody. So, no, living with my Well, I mean, I unsafe. guess what I meant was, like, I have to get out Currently, of here no, and the no, abuse. It, Currently, no. That's not why... I, I mean, at the time, that wasn't why I left. Right. Um, I left because, I mean, a combination of... Uh, you know, a Drugs shitty and bad boyfriends. Yeah, uh, old boyfriends. Um, you know, so at the time, I would have called him my boyfriend. Because um, you didn't know. I was better. fifteen. He was thirty-two. Yeah, good guy. Um, it, Terrible baby. Now I would say uh, a predator, not yeah. uh, not a boyfriend. So I mean, but <laughs> but the point being, I understand people get so upset that they they literally can't tolerate the information. But what I want is for everybody to. Be angry. Let that anger fade. Stay on fucking topic and mm-hmm. come up with a solution because your anger doesn't help anybody. No. Um, and the strongest thing you can do is to look past. I mean, I, I tweeted today. Somebody was we were talking about this whole. I talk about this shit a lot. But I, I asked somebody um, if you could hug a pedophile and it would keep them from molesting a kid. Would you hug the pedophile? Yeah. Now here's my, my that's I have beautiful. Question. Shane today, yes. Yeah. yeah, I mean, and that's and most people are like, oh, I would kill him. Oh, would you, you big badass? Yeah. I or don't do think you would actually can, kill them. Know. No, you wouldn't kill them. Most that's not people what you would who do. say that have never had have Fish never, Friday, right? Yeah, or have never killed anybody. Oh, right. Um, and let me um, ask you another question: What can other adult survivors of child rape and pedophilia do to destigmatize the conversation? Is it about coming? Is it about coming forward and desensitize saying, it like everything else? Like, I hate. Is to there do a it. new Me Too movement where it's like, are we going to have people who say like, this happened to me and this is yeah. real, and how how can we support the survivors in the community? Because this is beyond. This is way beyond politics. This is be, right. this is a serious is fucking humanity. situation, yeah, and we on a global scale. Yes. We're seeing more and more. I mean, people who, you know, like we talked about just in the public eye are going are going to go down for this soon. Mm-hmm. And it's happening. And it, and now is the time to talk about it because you can't get away from it and you won't be able to get away from it. It's a conversation that's out there. For fuck's sake, let's talk about it. Mm-hmm. Now, my views and uh nobody agrees with me in the world. Uh but actually that's not true. Uh the last time I tweeted this, I didn't get as much hate for it. Um, but um my solution, since nobody's going out killing all the pedophiles, is to open fucking treatment centers. Um 
they did it in Germany, their crime rate went down 70%. I don't know if those are still accurate statistics. Treatment specifically for pedophilia? For pedophiles, yes. Um, the same way that drug addicts can, and I'm not comparing drug addicts mm -hmm. to pedophiles, same <laughs> way that drug addicts can learn. Well, I still want to do drugs every it's day. A, it's yeah. like sex I addiction. Learned, it, right, it can it's be any if addiction. you treat pedophilia as an as a as Even a, just an teaching people the ability to want something and not do it. Most people don't have those skills. We do because we're in recovery. I yeah. learned how to want something yeah. with all my heart. And, and it not is a it. it is a life and death thing because right. we will die, you know. Right. As and a, a child result, will die child if we don't die. help mm -hmm. these people. Yeah. If, since we have all these, even if you did want to kill all the pedophiles, what about all the ones you don't know are pedophiles? Like, yeah, yeah your brother, your kid, whoever, your neighbor. They right. are. They yeah. fucking are. Right. Whether yeah. you want to think about it or not. So for non-offending pedophiles. I mean, my solution is get some, get them some fucking help. They can't even go to therapy. It's a thought crime in this country. Hmm. They can't say that they think about right. it. Um, so how how does anybody help those people? Um, I do my part by tweeting thank you to all the non non offending pedophiles, and I get a fucking shit storm every time. I say non offending meaning they've never again never downloaded child porn, never hurt a child. They have the attraction, they haven't acted on it. Acted on it. I think those people are fucking admirable, and I thank them for it because wow. you know they do that every day. They deny their base base nature that they yeah. were born it's with. It's like a serial and, killer just being like, I'm just not going to do it right. today. I'm and, gonna and, go and, jerk and then people off are like, people can't instead. even handle the idea of thanking somebody for not fucking a kid. I get it, but if thanking that person <laughs> keeps them from fucking a kid for another day... Yeah. Do you think that it works? Does support system works? Do support systems work everywhere else? I happen to know from personal experience that with every case that I've tested it on, and I have with mm -hmm. real humans, mm -hmm. um, it does work. It makes a huge impact. Interesting. Um, if somebody thinks that, again, that they're going to be ostracized, ostracized and hated the same whether or not they commit the crime, what is to keep them from doing that crime? Yeah, with absolutely. also no no therapy, no skills on how to not act on their compulsions. Like you're, you're creating a recipe for disaster. Mm -hmm. If I have to humble myself and take all the ridicule from the internet by saying, thank you for not fucking hurting a kid. I get that nobody sees you, um, yeah, yeah. but thank you. Yeah. I'll do that. Um, yeah. I probably did more for kids than uh, yeah, people well, yelling kill all pedophiles. But did. that's a th Santa that Claus. is what you have. That's what it basically comes down to is like sometimes people don't are unaware that at this point in the game, like g doing what needs to be done at the potential expense of being canceled is right. what everyone needs to be willing to do right. because we have worshiping a false sense of celebrity. We're worshiping shit that doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. We're worshiping, you know, and I'm like, I'm, n I'm on the shit list. I refuse to not talk about these things. Right. I refuse to not address this stuff. You know, and I and I so you know, and you to, today you challenged my mentality, and I'm grateful for that because I told, I told you we were going to talk about pedophiles all the time. Yeah, I know, but it's <laughs> it's something wow. that is very like I have I have very strong feelings, and because of my personal experiences, and you know, I'm not without. Every person needs to be able to re remain teachable. So I mm -hmm. appreciate that oh, message today. And maybe we'll have you for uh, a yeah, part two. We might need round two, yeah. But bring <laughs> soap this yeah, time. Yeah, because A, I didn't write all this shit for nothing, and B, yeah. I got no uh, fucking soap. Um, <laughs> plug your shit. Oh, okay. Um, well, my soap company. Anarchist Anarchist soap. Soap .com. Anarchistsoap.com. Um, yeah. You got an Instagram page too? Instagram is karma period rx. Twitter is karma underscore rx. Anything else you will be fine be able to find on one of those. Uh only fans? You find it. Okay. Do the research. <laughs> they'll find, they'll I don't they'll even find know it, the yeah. They like, already all know it anyways. Know. If they're watching, they're already they're like, they're like I'm an elite am. member. They've yeah. been jerking off to this um, whole conversation, which is really weird, but right. uh, you can find <laughs> us uh on YouTube uh, and any listening platform, Deviant Gentleman Podcast, uh Instagram and Facebook, Deviant Gentleman. Tommy's personal Instagram is at, at Tommy, Tommy Vex. Mine is at Shane.Vitco. Are we okay um, with the Deviant Gentleman now? Because people have been having trouble. I know that we got up to 5,000, but yeah. we were having... Well, it was weird. We, having to we got stagnant at like 4,000, and Why? then as soon as we... we talk uh, about? Yeah. As soon yeah, as we I'm, hit I'm five, pretty, it's uh, kind of started to climb yeah. again. But, um, all right. Uh, thank you, guys. And from Deviant Gentleman, if you didn't fuck a kid today, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for not fucking kids. Appreciate it. Seriously.